Hello, this is the Reverend Prophet Mark Stewart coming at you with another brand new YouTube release. Oh my God, the messages are enlightening, they're powerful, and I know many of you live on these messages. Watch and be blessed as the Lord minister to you through this great sermon coming at you in the name of Jesus. And remember, support our ministry. Watch and be blessed in Jesus' name. But in those days, Following that distress, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from the sky and the heavenly body will be shaken. At that time, people will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. And he will send his angels and gather his elect, his elect from the, the fork winds from the ends of the earth to the ends of the heavens. Now learn this lesson from the fig tree. As soon as its twigs get tender and its leaves come out, you know that summer is near. Even so, when you see these things happen, you know that it is near right at your door. Truly, I tell you, this generation will certainly not pass away until all these things have happened. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will never pass away. Mighty God, have your way in here today. Somebody praise God. Uh, the coming of the Lord is near. Are you prepared? Mm, hallelujah. Come on somebody. I said the coming of the Lord is near. Are you? I can't hear the church. Somebody praise God. Lift your hand and praise God in the church here. Shout hallelujah like you feel it. It is... It is possible for Christians to be deceived, yes. So convincing will it be the argument and the proof from deceivers in the end time that it will be difficult, Lord Jesus, not to fall away from Christ. If we are prepared, Jesus says, we can remain faithful. Oh, hallelujah. But if we are not prepared, we will turn away. Uh, 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 Lord Jesus, I, I can't imagine turning away from this faith, you know. Huh? Uh, to penetrate uh, the disguise of false teachers, we can ask one. Have their predictions come true? As whatever these false people predicted to happen, will it come through? Is their plan working? No. Or do they have to revert them to fit what already happened? Yes. Every time they have to change to fit something else. Oh, you're not here with me. The church gone. Number two. Does any teaching uh, utilize a small section of the Bible to, neg uh, to neglect the whole word of God? Do they use a little part? To fulfill what they want to do and they come and tell you the bible says you must obey the laws of the land so whatever the government says you must follow it uh, but they didn't tell you that we must seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness uh -uh. they didn't tell you you must test the spirit to see if it's of God. They didn't tell you come out from among them. And be separated. They never tell you if any man be in Christ. is a new creature. All things are passed away. Uh, somebody praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Number three, does the teaching contradict what the Bible says about God? Yes. Huh? Because these people, they want to be God. Want to be like God. So they're changing the way of God for humanity. Jesus come to give you life. They want you dead. That old rich fool. Jesus talk about them. You know? Come talking about too much humans are on the earth. So we can't control them. 
we got to get rid of some of them. So we got to stop the women from getting pregnant. Are you not talking to me? Because they got their money. So they alone want to enjoy earth. But the devil is a liar. He made it for all of us to enjoy. Somebody praise God. Are the practices meant to glorify the teacher who is Christ? No. They want to glorify themselves with their science. The scientists, they create, they form, they discover. And they say, yes, we are great. Let's test it and try it on humans. They've been trying to make human. Uh-uh. I said they've been trying to make man for a long time. Uh -uh. They made robots. Uh, you're not talking to me. They cloned man. But then they were stopped in their track when they said, then how are we going to put bread? We can have them on computer, have them on machine, but for them to function by themselves, something need to enter them. But they remember that God, when he made man, he knelt down and breathed into man his own breath and man became a living soul. You're not talking to me. Ah, somebody not talking to me. So this is what he says. Since we can't breathe into them, let's try and computerize them by changing their DNA to obey man and not God. Let's create something to transform them. Since we can't make them, we're going to try to transform. You don't believe me. You don't believe me. Mankind have been trying to diss God for a long time. And all of them who try to diss God end up dead. Somebody praise God. Because God is God by himself. Somebody praise God. Do the teaching promote hostility towards others? Especially Christian. Yes. This whole plan is to kill Christ again. Destroy the church. God made a master plan from Genesis to Revelation. And God, uh, man messed up the plan. And he sent Jesus to regain the plan and set in motion a plan to redeem man. Bring us back to the garden. And he told us in Revelation, as it was in the beginning, so shall it be in the end. We're getting back to the garden where God is with man and man is with God. Where we shall behold him face to face, drinking from the river of life, flowing from the throne. Somebody praise God here. Lift your hand and give him praise. But it looks like mankind made up their mind that this is their land and their hurt. So they do as they want. They do what they like. Some of you living careless, doing what you feel, doing what you want with your life. Because you say, your life. But I come to tell you, if God takes his breath, all you left with is a rotten body. You're not hearing me. If God takes the bread. Huh? Huh? Lift your hand and give God praise for the breath. Say so thank you Jesus. For waking me up this morning. Let me breathe the breath of life. Somebody praise God. Praise God and no weapon form against me and my life shall prosper. I shall not die but live because I'm breathing the breath of God. I'm God's representative. Look like God. Walk like God. I'm going to talk godly. 
walk godly smell godly Makosha. tell them demonic force touch not the Lord and the church not here with me anointed not do his prophet you're not talking to me church wake up church of God and let the devil know God is real heaven is real I serve a living God and he's coming back to redeem the world whether you like it or not he's coming back to redeem his people to bring us home to glory land are you ready for glory lift your hand and shout hallelujah look over to your neighbor say neighbor if you want to go to hell you want to go along down there but i want to make heaven my home i don't want to labor in vain heaven my lord help me to make it in for no matter what it takes i really want to make heaven my somebody prays the law somebody prays God prays God prays God prays God prays God give God prayers prays him the truth that heaven and earth will disappear is all that much more believers in our age of nuclear power and terrorism Jesus tells us however that even though the earth will pass away the truth of this word will never be changed or abolished God and his word provide the only stability in our unstable world say neighbor it's unstable in this world but we find stability in the word of God if it wasn't the word of God and prayer and your faith in God maybe you the manga don't pop down and dead already Jesus Christ I can't, I can't talk to somebody here uh, but my faith in God has kept me alive some people look at you and said with all the hell you've been through how comes you're still fat shapey and cute because I got somebody with me to share my heavy I feel his presence every day when trouble overtake me a long life weary road I got somebody with me anybody know the name Jesus call him by name call him by name this crazy unfriendly murderous world Lord God people are dying somebody praise God how short-sighted people are who spend their time leading learning about this temporary world somebody said this world is not my home i'm only a pilgrim passing through this is temporary but there is an eternity that's coming to greet me are you ready for glory he's coming the lord is coming are you prepared to meet him somebody praise god if i'm not living for christ i cannot be happy i live my life to please the lord if in this life you have hope alone you are miserable somebody praise god because it's appointed loose me let me preach unto man wants to die but after death come judgment somebody praise God lift your hand and give him praise this is a temporary fix are you prepared for the long term to live life everlasting hallelujah 
many people are living to keep a job to keep a man to keep a relationship to get a visa I don't want a temporary fix I want an eternal deliverance everlasting joy somebody praise God when Jesus said that even he did not know the time or even the hour uh, he was affirming his, his humanity of course God the father knows the time and Jesus and the father are one but when Jesus became a man he voluntarily gave up the ultimate use of his divine attributes to come down to die but he left these words before he left us he said I don't know the exact date or the time but I can tell you the signs can I preach to somebody here somebody praise God in those days following the distress the world is in distress so it means the end is near are you prepared somebody praise God the sun will be darkened dark nights are come dark days dark days the sun will be darkened I feel the Holy Ghost ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus is worse the moon will refuse to shine at night no new moon no middle moon no full moon oh you're not talking to me those days are coming declare Jesus the stars from heaven will fall out of the sky are you ready star of the drop sun of the melt moon when you see these things somebody praise God at that time oh I feel this here people will see the son of man coming on the clouds the trumpet is about to blow oh God the church not hearing me I said the trumpet somebody said they're gonna be a midnight cry the sound of the archangel is about to sound in the heavenlies heaven is near are you ready to go there lift your hands and say lord prepare me to be a sanctuary pure and only tried and true with thanksgiving i'll be a living oh i feel preaching coming somebody loose me in the church here ah somebody praise god lift your hand and praise god heaven is near are you prepared oh the preachers not preaching this gospel now oh the preachers are preaching blessing plan they're trying to get people to believe in them that they're a miracle worker i am a miracle worker so i don't have to get up trying to impress nobody repent for the kingdom of god is at hand set your house in order uh oh sort out your life heaven is near the sun soon dark the moon soon melt the stars soon fall Jesus is words Jesus is words he said in those days following the distress we are living in the distress time you cannot waste time with your one life surrender give yourself a fat chance
You're not ready. Well, heaven is ready. The mansion them build. Heaven is ready. When you see these vicious, ungodly behaviors, killings, earthquake, famine, murder, children having children, look up, I'm coming on the clouds. The mighty man have come, set your house and your life in order. You play with your one life. But oh, you have time. You have time. You're not ready. I live little more. You do little more. Do road little more. Sin little more. Carry on little more. Live out there little more. Enjoy. Wrongness little more. You can die anytime. Every day. Souls are passing away. No repentance in the grave. Make sure your soul is rule call turn over to Jesus give him what's left of you or too late too late too late you want blessing you want riches you want to live all right but you don't want Jesus you know what I'm get saved? He said, look for the signs. I don't know the date, but I can tell you the signs of the coming. Somebody praise God. The Son of Man. At that time, you'll see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. God of power. He said, all power on heaven and earth has been given to me so I give you power go into the world preach the gospel some of you afraid like poos you know what tell nobody about Jesus can you think them are going to spit in your face and slap your two box preach tell somebody Jesus is the Lord tell them repent get baptized cause hell no nice Get baptized, cause hell no nice. Honey, let heaven rejoice over you today. Lord God, you're not shot to me by surrendering all to Jesus. Have your great to mark the date. Today, I surrender my life to Jesus. Ay, 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 ay. The cross before me. The world behind me, the cross before me, the world. No turning back, no turning back. Do I have anybody in the church here? No turning back. Praise the Lord. I can't turn back because heaven is coming soon. You can't backslide, Christian. You can't give up now. Hold on. I know you're going through hell. I know you've been persecuted. But you are blessed when you're persecuted. You are blessed. I feel the anointing now. I feel something has cut me loose. Somebody has loosed me in my church. Can I preach? Heaven is near. Get ready. Anytime now, the trumpet is sounding. Are you ready for the trumpet sound? Are you ready for the hallelujah shout? Are you ready for the banquet? Hallelujah! Are you ready? Stop playing around. The signs are there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he will send his angels and gather the elect from the four corners, from the ends of the earth to the ends 
of the heavens. Somebody praise God. Lift your hands and neighbor. Are you elected? Are you selected? Heaven have your name? Is your name in the book? Are you elected? Selected for heaven? Can I preach it like I feel it? Check your status with heaven. I tell you last week, you know. Stop watch people's status on the earth and check your status with heaven. Are you prepared? Are you elected for glory? Is your name in the book? Stamp, seal, sign. Huh? Huh? I play around in little one life. I live careless. Huh? You love everything else but God. Huh? You live for everybody else but God. Huh? So you want to waste your life? Do you know what hell feel like? Huh? Imagine one man come and say, I'm giving you a chance to live forever after this life but in this life you are going to go through what if something and you might lose your life for me but in the next life I'll make you live and you don't want it you don't want it you don't want to feel what it feels like to be immortal okay I want to have that experience Of immortality. Can't dead, can't sick. Huh? Can't feel pain. No heart broken. No sorrow, no bad mind, no grudge, no envy, no obia, no science, no gun, no knife, no thief, no liar, no scammer. Huh? Yeah? I want to have that experience. I want to feel what it feels like to be immortal. What about you? Are you coming with me? Are you ready with me today? Come on church, set up yourself. Fix up your life, man. Set the house in harder. And make we get ready together. I don't want to leave you behind. I don't want to leave you. But the signs of the time tells us we don't have a lot of time left behind. Somebody will give his angels charge. To go out and collect the elect and bring them home. When God the angel come to Jamaica, will your name be called? Come home, my child. Uh, Enter through the gate. You know the problem with, with Jamaicans? We last minute bad. So we are wait for last minute. We are going to do all that we are doing then last minute. Now we come and say, Peter. Peter, say a thing. Give me a blind man. Give me a blind. And by your go and by your way. You don't want to serve God. You don't want to repent. You don't want to turn. Huh? You don't want to go through no persecution and you don't want to be tempted and tested by the devil. You want to just live careless. And last minute you try. Eh? Eh? Day, one man come to me and left church. I walk out of the church. Man just come with Pastor, come to be baptized. Come down the river. I want you to baptize me today. I say, ah, uh -uh, sorry. I, I, I'm just on my way out. Church just done. I'm trying. Come back on Sunday. Hey, come back in the week. Man, come back. I, I think I was here. I, I didn't remember. I was not going to be there. Depp and Reverend Tim. Reverend. I have to baptize today, today, today. I feel like if I don't baptize today, uh, Rev, you, you can't go. The man of God promised you have to go. She beg, he ball. 
Rev said, all right, I'll take you. And Rev take him one to be baptized. Two weeks later, family member called. The man that was begging for baptism, he's dead. Now they're calling. The man you baptize is dead. Can you come to the funeral? Can you come and this? Can you come and that? I said, ah. So when did we get responsibility for him because he rushed for baptism? You think now the church must be responsible? No, don't. I said, excuse me. Excuse me. When some people feel dead, ready for beat them, then ready for baptize. Like that can't save them. All along, preach and preach and I tell people, get saved, you're not ready. But when doctors say your time short, one month, two months, your sickness can't reverse, are dead, you're yeah, run, come now. At that time, some people are run, come, ready. All year long, you tell them, get saved, get baptized. If you're not threatening some people, and if death not threaten them, and they don't feel like them, I go dead. They're not ready for baptize. They want man, sex, cuss and quarrel and live nasty, dirty life. Drink and smoke and live their life out there. Party. But when death face them, knocking on their door. Huh? Pastor, I'm fully ready. Today, today, Pastor. Today, I live, I live there right now, Pastor. Oh, I'm baptized. Cause you think that I go care you got heaven? You think I saw you I go save? All your life you're not serve God. You disobey God. Huh? But now that you can't disobey dead. You want God to save you. No thank you, no sing so. Seek ye first the kingdom and his righteous and all. If any man be in Christ is a new creature all things be all set the house in order so whether you live or die you are in Christ what's wrong with you what's wrong with you let me close Gotta go to other places. Feel the Holy Ghost. Am I preaching to the saved? Uh-uh. Now learn this lesson. From the fig tree. As soon as the twigs get tender and the leaves come up, you know summer is near. Even so, <laughs> when you see these things happening across the world, yeah, look up. You know the time is near. The days will be shortened. Huh? Since the year start, we're at the 13th day of the second month. Time is running out. You see? For the whole month, someone who now go jump in a church, you know. For the whole month, so, all next week, some of you probably not bother come back. Because you now get nothing off to jump and wash the floor for. Come in and preach no blessing plan for your jump up and say, Give me, give me, give me. You know, and preach, say, Tomorrow this time, you're going to get Carol and House and Man. So some of you, you can't change your pastor in our church, you sit down dead. A gospel I preach. Come on, you. Every day you know I hear about blessing and how much money I go get and how much God I go bless. And that's what makes some people jump in a church. When disappoints on church people. Come at church, expect church one way. You know why we preach gospel? I carry a five-fold ministry and when we turn on me evangelism. And when we say turn on it, turn on and you can't change it. So if you don't want to jump, go along your yard, go near your Sunday dinner. Gospel must be preached all in a bongo town. That's our no problem. We don't know why you hear gospel. A lot of people nowadays are run down blessing church and prophetic church. 
prophetic ministry. So man, I walk around with title and tight security. Can I rob the church people their money? So they must have high security. I'm going to walk with security because I have two blood down. Invisible. Dangerous warrior. You can't see them on the end of the day. Church me now. If you think you're bad, fire at me. Me are the only international preacher in Jamaica that don't have a, a security detail. Security, I walk them on the rest. I walk them off a clear passage with things in our ears and I communicate like them are FBI or right, them a secret service. I don't know Biden, Joe Biden this. I'm a child of God. Washed in his no weapon. Yeah, yeah, feel sh- if I have to die on the battlefield, I'm out here on your world card. Hallelujah! Yeah, though I walk, I feel something that kick me. The church sit on for me, man. Through the valley of the shadow of, I will fear for the heart with. Somebody now help me here. Oh God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Let the Lord be your God. Let God keep you. Let God deliver you. Let God protect you. Surrender to Jesus. No hope you can kill you. No science can get rid of you. Kill or be killed. You can't die unless God. De- Loose the preacher. I hear Jezebel say, Elijah, if me not cut off your head by tomorrow this time, Elijah went go hide, say him one dead. But God say, Elijah, before Jezebel kill you, I carry you up alive, cause you are my servant. No Jezebel can touch you when your life is in a card. Hold on to Jesus. Repent. Love the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways. Acknowledge God and he shall direct you. I feel the Holy Ghost. Somebody shout hallelujah here. Yeah. Somebody praise God in the church here. Yeah. Shout something. I feel. Oh, glory. Shadalaba. Ekotorobus. Oh glory. Oh glory. Oh glory. I must have the Savior with me. For I dare not walk alone. I must feel his presence near me and his arms around me thrown then my soul shall fear no ill let him lead me he will somebody give god a praise up in here shout hallelujah lift your voice and shout glory wave your hand in the ear and praise god oh glory hallelujah I'm closing. I'm closing there. Hallelujah. 
the word of God said even so when you see these things out there you know it is near it's right at your door oh hallelujah truly I tell you this generation will not pass until these things it's gonna happen look over say neighbor it's happening already and it's gonna happen he's coming set your house in order get your ticket punch and sign for glory he said heaven and earth will pass away before one of these words God, it will never pass it's gonna happen the sun will melt the moon turn into blood the stars will fall this earth will be no more lake of fire heaven sounding sweeter i saw a new heaven and a new earth coming down are you ready to go there rise up and set your house in order and prepare to go to heaven are you ready heaven is a must go preach tell some christian we are sunday general set your house in order line up your life with the word of god You come here for scam, stop scamming. Come here for beg, stop begging. Come for borrow, stop borrowing. Come for watch people, stop watching. Come for chat people, stop chatting. Set your house. I tell you not to care people for preach to you now. If you don't care nobody, I go and preach. Leave people business. Line up your life to make it to heaven. And watch your way to hell. Toy. Every day you see the hearse, them are roll out. Doppy pan top of doppy. One time gone, everybody that them won a spot. Nowadays you have your share upstairs and downstairs in a burial ground. Cause then I want done land too quick. Huh? You used to have one grave digging in three months in the community. One somebody dead, maybe every six months. I hear man, when one somebody dead, everybody show up because a long time they don't see nothing. nothing. But now we get so used to like Jesus Christ. You know what I'm talking to me? The escalades and the chariots are rolling out every day. And you know what God? People are dead and a drop like fly in a country. Heart attack, all kind of attack. Juke and juk, shot and shot. People are getting murdered like crazy. And you sit on top, but you're not ready for Jesus. You want left church, you want box. You, 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 you're mad. You idiot. You don't see at the time. You don't see it is the time. We fix up. And get right. And get ready. Because glory can be any time now. You're playing with your life. I hate that. The coming of the Lord is near. Are you prepared? All who is not yet prepared, come get prepared to me. All who want Jesus, see if sanctify, baptize, and give your life to him today. Come. I eat this. Backslider, sinner, come. Hello there. I'm the Reverend Prophet Mark Stewart that you've been watching, enjoying, and being blessed every time a new message comes up on your YouTube. I know many of you are locked, waiting for the next broadcast, for the next release, for the next YouTube preaching. Oh, everywhere I go, all across the world, many people, we see the numbers rising and we know many of you are blessed by our sermons on YouTube. Here is what I want you to do in the midst of this pandemic. Do you know that so many of you are blessed 
but yet we struggle as a ministry to cope, to pay our bills, to make things happen in this pandemic. I want you to talk with us. I want you to come on board with me. All of you, my partners, who are watching and are being blessed on YouTube, in this season, by now to December, I want every single one of you that have been blessed by our messages to plant a seed. I want you, if you don't have a ministry that you tithe into, to tithe into this breakthrough ministry and support this prophetic work that is always coming at you in your bedroom. Some of you sleep on it. Some of you watch at your workplace every single day. Listen, I want you to plant a seed. It's coming up on your screen, all the mediums that that you can use click on one of them and use the opportunity to plant a seed in our ministry for our mission and for our ministry to continue so that in this time of great disaster we can keep coming at you with great and powerful messages come on board with me help me to stay on youtube stay on television stay on radio and continue to do mission to the poor and the needy plant a seed in our ministry today and watch your life be blessed go ahead right now take that credit or debit card out click on one of the apps and use it plant a seed in the breakthrough deliverance ministries that is coming at you in Jesus name and of course I pronounce and declare a mighty move of God and a blessing on your life like never before right now in Jesus name go ahead and sow as God bless you